Hello. 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 Congrats. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Yeah. My glasses on too. That's a great start, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need for this year. <laughs> a <laughs> yeah. great start. Last year was not so great, so it's nice for us. I mean, you finished off the year at the semi-final of the major. That's, you know, I wanted to ask you actually, what happened after that and before coming into this season? Did you guys have worked on anything special? Did you go to the boot camp? How did that go? And what are your expectations coming into 2023, not just Katowice? Uh, after the major, we kind of had a break for the last of the, the reminder of the year, and we just uh, kind of res uh, reset our minds because it was a very tough year. We practiced a lot, and it was very tough on us. The start of the year, the half of the year, we lost so many matches and tournaments. So we kind of need a break to uh, just reset the mind. And when the year started, we started practicing uh, in the start of January and just boot camp the whole way until here uh, to be ready for this tournament and these first matches. Listen, I'm going to be quite honest with you and, you know, that's the way I do things, right? We have been giving you a lot of, you know, criticism towards the style and, you know, the fact that you're not adapting, you're just forcing your own, like, chaotic style. Have you thought about it? Like, have you thought about adapting a little bit more to the traditional style of, you know, the, the, the gameplay for itself? Yeah, whenever someone uh, tells me about a, a Furious play style, uh, I don't think people uh, remember that we are practicing, like, uh, the whole week, we have one day break for the entire year, like each week. So we're practicing every day and watching our mistakes or errors. Everything that we do, we know the success rate for that and we just replicate what's good and don't what's bad. So it's a constant job of uh, doing things that are uh, good and doing them again over again and making them better. And things that are not good, we are just uh, recycling, trashing that and doing again. So it's our job every day to and make it have, better. You have Gary back right now. It's going to be my last question, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sure, but sure. if you have Gary back right now, how important is that for you as a Nigerian? Uh, it's very important. Uh, Gary has been with us from the start and he always has, has the right mindset when games are tough. And he's just there for uh, put us on the right spot. And if you're messing around too much, he talks with us. So it's nice to have him back. I know that later on, as this tournament progresses, as you guys go deeper, we're going to talk a lot about Kesarado and Yuri. So I want to put the spotlight on the other guys that are on the team, mostly Drop and Safe. I think we saw some decent progress from Drop at the end of last year. He started becoming a pretty pretty good player for you guys. But I yeah. think Safe is one that a lot of people that were following what he was doing on Pain want so much more out of. So has there been any emphasis on making Safe uh, a more consistent opera or stronger opera on your lineup? Yeah, definitely. We know the impact of uh, Alper on the team, so we are trying to find him, uh, good spots for him to be more uh, consistent and find or uh, like easier times. Because when Fura plays, it's hard to, for an Alper to play. It's, it's too much explosion and it's fast threats and need the support from Alpers. So he always finds himself on like a loose spot where he's two before and he has to come back, or an easy spot where the the round is over. So it's hard for him. Really quick, why do you think Henny was able to do it so well under your system? Uh. I would say Henny is a very passive upper by style, so he likes to be in that situation where he's either saving or going for the clutches. Mm. So he's either playing a 2v4, 2v3s, uh, 2v2s every time because he's supporting the team, and if he's not, he's saving because we lost the round in the entrance. So he likes those spots, so he, he found himself in that situation. Okay. Oh, I, I love your questions. They're being kind of harsh on you, but I like it, you uh, know, at the I, beginning I, I of the season. So. I think so. it's okay. <laughs> yeah, of course it's okay, and your answers are great as well. I'd love to know from you, uh, as you evolve more as an IGL, and of course you're going for those big prizes with Furia again this year, what are your personal goals in terms of how you want to develop and what you want to work on in terms of IGLing specifically? Oh, that's a deep question. <laughs> uh, personal goals. I don't quite think about that in that way. I just think about uh, winning. So if I would say a personal goal is winning uh, big tournaments, star mm -hmm. one, and hopefully a major, I think that's my biggest uh, personal goal. Uh, other than that, I always try to improve my individual skills. Uh, it, either the mindset, uh, just being a better IGL in the emotional side and better IGL in the calling side. So I always try to evolve. Okay, wonderful. Well, we're looking forward to that indeed. Um, for, there wasn't much to say, I think, from this result on, but what are your hopes start. and expectations? It, other teams can falter in situations like this, right, Kassad? Uh, but in terms of Furia going forward, what do you want to see specifically in Katowice? I want to see, like, you know, the, just a less chaos a little bit, but I understand where you're coming from. And I want to see Yuri and Kesarato being on the a, on a same level like last year, because that's the main thing that's going to get you guys to the winning their tier one trophy or possibly a major or whatever is that you are aspiring to this year. So I want to see more of more of those consistent performances for those two. Mm -hmm. 
I really just want to see a third player. I think you look at all the top teams right now. You look at FaZe, you look at G2, you kind of know who their big three are. For Furia, we know it's Caserato and Yuri, but I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering still who's the third, who's the third star. And that's why I asked about drop and save. He's standing next to you, yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah, all right, it could be R. Yeah, some days it could be R2. So yeah, I just want to know who, it can it, be a revolving who I can rely door, on. Right? Usually I feel like you could rely on them for FaZe and G2, though. You're saying you can't rely on R? It, it just changes. It just <laughs> changes for you guys. Game to game. Sometimes drops <laughs> popping off. <laughs> so, sometimes it is art, but I mean, I want to. I just want to know for certain who that guy is. That's all. You who do you think it'll, on, who do you think on, it'll on be? Art right there. Who do you uh, think's your? Who do you think is going to be your third best player this year? Uh, I, I think drop is evolving. Uh, Wage fast. I think it might be him. He's okay. playing the, the position on CT way more comfortable, and T side is helping him so much because that's the thing. On the backstage, he's helping me so much on the on the calling and, and resolving uh, rounds that people don't see. So okay. for me, he's been the third player for now. There you go. That's a valid piece of information that we can use. Yeah, that's yeah, actually we really didn't good. know that. that. That's something that we didn't. Definitely this is why we get players on the desk to tell us. But thank you very much. We're gonna let you go. Thank you so much, Art, and right. a fantastic start. Thank you very start. much, you guys. See you later. See you later. Yeah, you can just it. drop the mic off and so go. Just put yeah. it